maximum sum of distinct subarrays with length k. So basically, in this question, we are given an array nums and an integer k. Find the maximum subarray of subarray sum of all the subarrays of num that meet the following conditions. The first condition is that the length of the subarray should be k, and all the elements of the subarray should be distinct. And we have to return the maximum summary sum of all the subarrays that meet the condition. So if no subarray meets the condition, we have to simply return zero. Right. So let's understand the question. Basically, in this question, what we are given is we are given an array and an integer k. All right. So we have to form subarrays of size k of this array. Right. So the subarrays of size k of this array is, is you know, these are the subarrays of size k that we can form from this array. Now we want to compute the sum of only those subarrays which have distinct elements in them, right? So the subarrays with distinct elements are this, right? This and this. These subarrays have distinct elements in them. We will reject these two subarrays because there are duplicates in these arrays. And according to the question, we have to only consider subarrays with distinct elements in them, right? And we have to compute their sum, right? We have to compute their sum. <coughs> so the sum of this subarray is 10, the sum of this subarray is 11, and the sum of this subarray is 15, right? And we have to return the maximum of these sums, which is 15, right? So 15 is the answer for this question, right? So it's a classic question of uh, a sliding window, but with a constraint. Right, the constraint is we need to have these um, subarrays with distinct elements only. Right, so if you don't, uh, if you don't know what uh, sliding window is, sliding window is basically an algorithm in which we, you know, compute. Um, for example, like we have to compute the sum, right? Sum of maximum sum of subarrays of size k. Right, so what we do is we just take two pointers, right, and we <coughs> keep increasing the second pointer until until we reach uh, this element until we have three elements inside you know these this um, subarray right so we call it a window right and what we do is basically slide window right so sliding window means we slide this window here for our next computation so how do we slide we you know remove the first element and we add the second element, right? And we keep doing this through the help of these two pointers, right? So after we slide, we increase the first pointer and also increase the second pointer. And similarly, we keep the uh, sliding the window forward until we compute all of the <coughs> calculations that we are, you know, we have to compute. Now, if you try to like uh, do use the same approach, and uh, you try to, you know, uh, like for example, you apply a sliding window here. And then for this window, you traverse inside this window again to find whether or not there are distinct elements or not. Right. So then uh, you will get TLE for this question. So we need to optimize a little bit. So what I've done is I've taken a set. Right. So I'm using the set for, uh, you know, the window size also. And as well as to calculate the distinct element, a set only you know contains distinct elements. So as uh, and uh, whenever I have to you know uh, remove an element, I'll simply remove that element from the whole set, right? So let's see what I'm trying to do. So I'll show you the code. Basically, okay. So this is what I'm trying to do here, right? So as you can see, I have put a while loop inside of this for loop. So first of all, we have i is equal to zero, right? So this is the this is the uh, start of the window, right? We can say this is the start point of the window, right? And our j is the end of the window, right? So our j is the end of the window. All right. So now uh, I am um, using a for loop for the end of the window, right? So when I don't have the window size, so we will only remove values, right? We will only remove values when, if we see if an element is already present inside our set, right? 
so for example let's say our set hard values 154 initially uh, 154 2 and 9 initially right so <clears throat> it will see whether or not this 9 value is present or not let's say we are at this position and we have computed changes until this position so it will see whether this 9 is present or not if this 9 is present then it will enter this loop and it will decrease the window size and also remove this element for further calculations all right okay so let's dry run this code to you know have a better understanding <coughs> So, okay, so as I said, I have two conditions here. The first condition is I'm trying to see if there are there is a duplicate and if there is um, if the window size is greater than or equal to k. Only then we will enter this loop and we will you know do some calculations. Okay, so let's see. So for one, we'll basically let's have our set here, which is s. So initially we will not enter this loop as i is not less than j so we'll simply come here right so right now my sum will be my sum will be one right and uh, this is also not true we'll move on to the second element which is five right we will again uh right now uh j is greater than i but we have these two conditions also right which needs to be satisfied to enter this loop so we're seeing that um the value 2 oh sorry the value 5 is not present inside of this set right it was not initially inside of this set right so we'll move forward right and also the window size is not greater than equal to k so we'll move forward we'll come here and we will compute our sum to be 6 and we will include 5 in the set and we'll move forward and now we are seeing that still the size of the set is not equal to k which is 3 so we'll not come into this condition right so mx is basically uh, the max to count the maximum sum all right now now we'll move to 4 all right again we'll see it's not even inside of this and window size is, is still not more than k right so we don't have to do anything we'll simply come here and we'll include this 4 in the set and also in the sum which will make it 10 okay okay now you can see that this condition is satisfied okay so now our mx will become 10 all right now our mx will become 10 okay now we'll move forward we'll move forward to the next element which is 2 right now we are at 2 and now we see that this condition is satisfied our window size is k right so we need to remove an element right so we will remove one from our sum right here and also we'll remove one from here now our set our set will contain this and our sum will become 9 all right we have removed one from here right and also we have increased our i so now i becomes one all right so now now again we come here and we compute for two so we include two here and also we calculate some to be 11 right and we can see that we have again reached mx and as we can see that this mx had 10 and the sum contains a value 11 so we'll update our mx to 11 and we'll move forward and we'll move forward so now again we can see our size is k so we what we have to do we have to remove 5 right we have to move 5 from our window and we have to include also we have to remove 5 from our sum so if we remove 5 from our sum what we will get we will get 6 right so this is what we will get and then we will include the next element which is 9 right so we will include 9 in our set as well as we will include 9 in our sum okay, 6 plus 9 is 15 and then again we will come here and we 
we will update our MX to 15, to 15 and we will move forward. Now again we can see our size is greater than K. So now this condition is also satisfied, right? That, uh, right, we have, we are at this position, right? For the next iteration, we are at this position and we can see that s dot count basically returns true if uh, that uh, if a particular value is present in the set or not right so we just pass this nums j right the position that we are currently at and will return one right so we'll see nine is already present here so now what we want to do is we will again remove the first element from here and uh, all right and we will uh, also erase okay and we will it will become what we have to remove 4 from here so it will become 11 now we will come here all right and we will insert this into it but 9 is already present so we will not enter into this condition because to enter into this condition the size should be equal to k but we have a duplicate element so our size will not be k so we will not enter into this condition. Then again we will come here and for this our set size is not greater than equal to k but we have a duplicate value. So we have to remove this also and again we will not enter any of these uh, any of uh, this condition right because we don't have the size of the set equal to k. So that is how we will get our mx to be 15 and this is what we will return. So